Welcome to Liquid with Ticker, I'm Jack Compton, and today we're making a watch list using Interactive Brokers. I'll be using my paper trading account just because I don't use it, I don't have scanners on there, start completely fresh, and um, and this will probably work for most brokerage accounts. It's going to be like the same areas, just the buttons you click or where you click are, are going to be different, obviously, for a different uh, program up here. But diving in, um, definitely the most important scanner that I use I find is the just the generic change um, like I it's the US movers on here so if you go over to this tab where you have your portfolio and everything it's underneath the monitor tab you click this and you go to uh, mosaic scanners it'll ask you to create a new custom scanner you could even just click the one that they already have there so like say US movers it has the top movers and it, it does already create this good layout for you and then you can just go to edit scanner, customize, and now you have all your tools that you get to use. And this is the fun part. This is where it's different compared to most generically made scanners. You could really dive into the specific points of which you want to hunt in the market, I guess, which really makes it for penny stocks. Now for me, there's not too much to edit for the movers. That's my generic go-to. The biggest thing obviously is gonna be the percent change because as uh, penny stock traders, you're going to be looking for, um, you know, the big percent movers. So you automatically want to be kicking out anything less than, you know, 6%. It really depends on what's important to you. Um, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go anything less than 10 even. Um, and obviously for penny stocks, you don't want anything higher in a price for the last, it's gonna be the the price of which the ticker is currently trading at, or the last uh, tape that went through in the ticker. And um, I'm I'm actually kind of into the legit um, penny stocks, you know, anything under a dollar, I'll trade it. Most of the people in our chat room won't wanna trade those, and understandably why, they're a bit sporadic and they jump everywhere. But since personally my taste goes that way, you know, I'll even have it as low as four cents and nothing over $25. I don't care to trade anything over that, maybe even $20. It's up to your preference, you know. Some people in our chat room trade up to $50 or $200 even. It's it's truly up to what you want and that's one of the best things about this. So with a four cents to $20, 10% to infinite, um, market cap, that's actually a good one. It won't pop up on here, but you don't need it. You don't really need to check. You know, if you have your left side, I want to point with my hands. If you have your left side over here that has all this information, it'll point out the market cap. Currently I have the SPY up right now, so 260 billion, but for my scanner, you know, maybe I want to trade micro caps. Maybe I want, you know, maybe something under 500 million, as low as it gets, but up to 500 million. And then uh, another important one I think is is forgotten, honestly. Um, let's get rid of this average volume because I think the more important thing is adding a field. You could type in volume in the search bar and this should be on everyone's scanner. And look for the uh, average volume with the, or not average, sorry, the volume of the day with the dollar amount. The average volume or the regular volume isn't going to have as much of a change to what you're looking at as compared to the volume uh, per for, for the dollar amount, how many dollars have been traded on that day. So when it comes to like um, the regular volume, if you're if something's trading, you know, at five cents and it has a million shares traded, it, it'll be how different would it be compared to a five dollar stock that has uh, a million shares traded you know it's a hundred times different there's it's not as liquid in the same way but the dollar amount that will always be the same so the shares will change but the amount of dollars that are flowing through this thing is is going to be the same on this if that makes any sense so for me um the dollar amount you know like i probably am i'm pretty lenient i change this one actually quite a lot if it's the morning, I'll put less. If it's you know later in the day and I really want to like narrow down my search, I'll put I'll put more up there. You can see how much it's trimmed my search down. 
Um, it just depends, and that's kind of like a nice thing is we're on computers, like you could edit this in, in seconds. So I, I'd probably leave it around this, at least cutting out all the little percent movers that are, you know, micro caps or change 10% or 3 cents or 5 cents, you know. But this will kick them out because they probably aren't very liquid and there's no point in trading anything that's not liquid. And as like a little bonus, I feel like I don't see many people do. And this is really important as well for um, interactive brokers because shares are really hard to find on this platform. And I, I still use it. I still love it. I love the borrows are cheap, but they are hard to find. And so adding this little shortable thing on here, let's see, you could edit this a little bit. Let's get rid of the dollar change. And squeeze, oops, squeeze this shortable up because we don't need as much. Expand that out. The shortable though will tell us it's kind of hard. Maybe it's the weekend is what it is, but it should tell us if it's if it has shares available to short. I like putting that dollar amount here, not there. So it it'll usually glow. Um. I don't have it on my regular one I do, but it'll I think it's the weekend and that's why it's doing this, but it'll be a light green if there's shares available. Um or it's able to short, but there's not shares available. It'll be a, a solid, not opaque green if there is shares available currently right now, available to short. And it'll be red if they just if you're not allowed to short, there's no shares available. Um and right now I think it's white, maybe it needs to be set in or something, but this is my personal scanner for the movers of the day. This is how I keep track when something pops up, you know, I organize it by change and that'll show me all the, all the liquid big, big movers of the day and it'll keep updating throughout the day. And I'll talk about one more of one of my favorite, um, searches that again is kind of like different from most of the other people in our chat room is actually, I'm a, I'm a big fan of um, OTCs. I don't think they even have a pre-made OTC on here. So a new scanner, I'm gonna call it OTC US, and let's take off all. Let's just even use OTC BB, whoops, pink sheets. And uh, let's leave it at that. Let's see what will pop up. Um, and for that, you know, so last, I, I won't really touch less, I, you know, maybe under two cents is ridiculous, so we'll, we'll do that one there. Get rid of change, I'm not interested to see how much in dollars it's changed. Let's do the percent, um, I'm a little more lenient, I'll do 6% on OTCs, because the momentum's really strong usually, the way they trade. Um, of course we gotta add some feels, volume, again, Everyone's got to have volume for dollars on the day on their scanners. Every person should be having that. Um, depending on the time of the day, maybe a million from being picky. You know, you don't want a hundred tickers on there. You only want, you know, your top two or three or four. And then um, another one that's, that's good that isn't really considered too much either is trades. How many trades have gone back and forth? If there's only, you know, a handful of people that have pumped this thing, then it, it's not very liquid. But if you have, you know, a couple thousand people trading back and forth, there should be like 400 trades or so. This is really good for the morning as well. Um, it'll show you right at the open if it's being traded a lot by a lot of people or if Maybe some investor just invested instantly right at the open. They invested a million dollars and that would push it up on your scanner. But this will cut out that one trade that's worth a million. This will show maybe if, you, if you're in the morning, do a hundred or do 200. That will show really like liquid tickers. And later in the day, maybe you're going to be doing 600 or so. See, it just cut out one. Whoa, which one did it cut out? MJNE, I think. Yeah. So that, that trading will, will really add to that liquidity, which is really important for OTC because they're extremely difficult to get out, as I'm sure everyone watching this knows. They're really hard to get out just because of the way they trade. 
But these are definitely my two favorite scanners. This will pop up with everything. This will do my OTCs, which I can be picky about. Um, always organize them is how I do it by percent change in the day. I want to see the biggest movers. And those are my definitely my two favorite. Those will get me everywhere. I could make my watch list out of these things for the next day and, um, and make some good winning trades. All right, guys. Well, I hope that helped. I hope it made sense. And uh, if you have any questions, leave it below. If you want to know, um, if I want to know, does do, do you guys trade uh, under dollar stocks? I feel like I'm always a minority, but I, I also feel like that's the root of like penny stocks. You know, it's under a dollar. But either way, let me know in the comments below. Uh, have a good day and have a green week. See you next time.